We tried to find a way to get health again. I need that. <laughs> and it did not work. But we got another manuscript. Yes. One. And and one. What? Okay, that's interesting. So one one and Okay. One and one. Okay. Should we write it down on the panda excrement paper? Sure. <laughs> Look at it. It's got a little panda on the front. It's made of panda excrement. Yep. Anyway, so yeah. We So it's one and and one? Yeah. One and and one. So are we going to go up we go! This one? Or we can try that door. Because I don't know if that door. No, the other one. That one still needs No, to that go. one also needs to Oh, okay. Okay, so onward and upward. Yay. <laughs> Hello, Leon. Hello, Leon. <laughs> we can preemptively move it. Oh, God, that one doesn't move. Try the mannequin? <laughs> so laughy. Try that again. Avoid the child. Stare away from it. What no one knew was that he was tired. Taking lives had taken its toll. It was only a matter of time before he before his luck ran out. Too bad his handler never thought of that. Okay. What? <laughs> so what I'm figuring is this is gonna be one of those the killer is you reveals. Sorry, there is noise outside. Noise! But yeah, what I think is, it's gonna be almost the killer is you reveals, and then she'll be like, ah oh, yes, we did it together, and that's how you forgot last night. The killed all the children. He was quite sure. Was it? Uh, he wasn't quite sure what he was guilty of, but he didn't struggle as he was thrown into the cell. Too bad the master bedroom key he had picked up didn't work on cells. Hey, we did it! We got a key. key! Do we need to read the last one? I think so. The judge was a creature beyond human imagination. Its faceless form was compromi comprised of guilt itself. I can't read English. Yes, it is. We apologize. An old wives' tale that described the mass spiriting away. The mass spiriting away naughty children. That English does not work. And sometimes adults. Please tell me that English does not work. I think it's they describe the mass, as in the mass is the judge, and the judge is spiriting away the naughty children. There should be a comma. No, there should Shh. There should be a comma. Anyway, I cannot English. Keep going. So, I wrote these words. There's no way this judge is coming after me. I've done nothing wrong! But of course, it was just a story. So, time to chat with this kid. This kid's totally gonna like run us. Oh, he was run through with like the tailoring machine. Okay. Okay. Hi, small one. Thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> he. <laughs> What's so funny, kid? You will be judged <laughs> because you're guilty. <laughs> You don't know anything 
about me, kid. You know my name, <laughs> not my story. <laughs> he just needs the hipster glasses. He already has the scarf. It doesn't matter that I was cut up here. The judge is gonna get you. Stop this nonsense. There is no judge. Now let me out of here. Mm. I like the first kid better. <laughs> she just wanted to play hide and seek, and then she was like, okay, you can go. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> and back up we go. They just keep laughing. They keep the sound- oh. That made me uncomfortable. <laughs> that moved. <laughs> Is that the master bedroom? One the of one these two. The one on the right or the one on the left? We don't know. Right it is, because we're closer. Nope. Left it is, because it's always the answer. the same. Whoa. Okay, well we got some candles to light. We're gonna light some candles, get some mood lighting. Turns out he was in the orphanage. He just doesn't remember being in the orphanage. <laughs> Six, because that one tells you like the Six, one that yeah. it talks about the one you didn't find yet. So this or them? Oh, uh, probably reading. First name for all the fun. A hitman, a hired gun, a hero, a terrorist. He was all of these things, but he was a slave. His handler told him who to kill, and he obeyed. With all the fame he achieved, he was denied a life. So he was an assassin. Yeah, so he was assuming. Zebrin. <laughs> he entered what looked like an abandoned home a quiet sense of dread lingering in the air but he knew he was in no real danger he found a key in an envelope with master bedroom on it but that wasn't the key he needed right now is that the one up there was book three of that one so. he wanted to scream his consciousness to the heaven confession co con conf co <laughs> English confession to the heavens but <laughs> shut up but his pride held his tongue the village moaned the gruesome deaths of little Ar the death of little Ariel and decorated her grave instead of hunting down the driver driver I don't want to read these books anymore. Damn it all! It wasn't my fault! She shouldn't have been running in the street! Oh. Uh, who am I kidding? It, it was my fault. Bad end. <laughs> Writing a book for a girl I never knew won't get rid of this guilt. So I guess he is in a hit and run? Yep. A small news article is between the pages. Guillotine writes another hit novel. Notorious horror writer. Horror writer. <laughs> Goes back to his horror roots and brings us Ariel's Garden. A chilling tale about the tragic death of a young girl. The author's words envelope readers envelope. into a envelope readers into a sorrowful and dreary world as he describes Ariel's splattered organs on the road as a bountiful garden. It just sounded sexual. No, it doesn't. It did. No, dude. 
Trust me. <laughs> Her describing anything as a twitching bulb and petals and yeah, no. Well, it, it's like with the. No, I know, I know, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> who put this here? Now I know someone is messing with me. Who is it? Come on out. Good judge. So should we talk to these folks now, or I don't think we have another choice. So I mean, we can. I mean, we could just leave. We We're just done. leave. Nothing. <laughs> uh, never mind. We don't care about this couple. They're not really there. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's gonna let us in up there. It's the little girl we killed. Probably. We should go downstairs! <laughs> Run see if we can get all way. the way- no, I meant see if we could go all the way through. Oh, you can't even interact with it. So now we can see these, which is like coffins. Yes, we can. We should go inside though, and open Leon's door. Because I think we can do that now that we've seen him. Yeah. If you go all the way up there, you can't turn. I know, I'm just looking. Well, I mean, you can't get back in. Oh, right. <laughs> you gotta go all the way. If you look at the snowman, he says something, though. Or it might just be the one in the backyard. Only the one in the backyard. Okay. But yeah, he's like, I got I got this hat and this scarf, and then my manager told me I looked like a snowman. Sad way. Throw the doors! Bring the people outside. Annabelle. So that's the kid that we just saw. Or the lady. I'm still under the impression that the lady's gonna be something. Yeah, no, probably. I kind of assumed she was the one who killed these kids. Yeah. Sorry, my arms hurt. It's okay, I can keep doing this. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Creepy singing. Creepy theater. There's a candle over there. Can we take the tiger? Bring it to the little girl? Stop judging me with your eyes, bear. Okay then. Should we investigate the other two shiny things first? Because sometimes when we light all the candles, shit goes down. It was a small tiny diary and table. I felt bad, but I was surprised to read the thoughts of a child. She won't let me leave Nana's house. I miss Nana and Papa. It's been so lonely, just sis and me. Ruggy died. Sis said she, he was sleeping, but I know dead. Ruggy was dead. I told sis to bury him, like Nana and Papa, but she only bought him a new toy. Sis brought some children to play with me. I that's prob this is probably Veronica's little sister. Yep. I had a bad feeling in my tummy about it. It was a boy and two girls. Yep. They were sad. Sis didn't love me either. I have to get away from sis. I'm sorry sis, I love you, but you're acting so strange. I'm running away tonight. And they all died. Choose whichever you'd like. The chase ended on the roof. The identity of the invader was now clear. It was her, the woman who had torn his heart out. He wasn't surprised to find her. Derringer, I guess this type of gun. Derringer now pointed at him. <laughs> it was called Downton, and Seymour was now miles from his ten-year prison. 
His sentence had been served and he was free. He wandered the streets looking for a place to stay before he made the long trek home. <laughs> the street lights became neon beams as he sped down the road. His vision blurred from rage. His sweat made the wheels slip under his fist. Then there was silence. A bump that rattled the car. A red mist sprayed upon the glass. A loud pop and a terrible squish. The road sounded wet as he squished. <laughs> That's the word you used. Finish! Okay, child. Oh, should, we, should we get the light first? Oh, we don't have... Shade and the girl sat before me. I knew that girl. This? This girl. This particular one. <laughs> and yes, I didn't. Like this house. Her pale face lit up in front of my headlights. The rock of the car as we unknowingly ended her innocent life. The squeal of the brakes as I forced Barry to stop the car. Oh, so she did manage to run away. Yeah. And he hit her. No, he didn't. Yeah. Barry did. Oh. My dad. <laughs> She was free. Don't be sad. Actually, I was doing her voice in that thing anyway, but if you want to do it. Oh. Because I think that was her diary. You can if you want. It don't matter to me. Whatever. But, uh, we killed you. It was an accident. Thank you. You're so nice. Because she kills you. Barry saw you in the street. He didn't even try to stop. Thank you. How can you thank me? <laughs> Creepy Deep. giggle. She, how can she forgive me? Oh, and help. we got help. She gave us help. You can even look at her drawing. We have finished child's drawing on the bed. Apparently not. What match was found? Hmm. Light the candle. Should we nine and all? I already found six. So now we have seven. Do we want to play piano? No, no we, we don't. don't. <laughs> we want to save though. Always. So down we go. So now where Veronica went. She went this way. Did she? She's gonna be the final boss. Yeah, since we got our health back. Ellie. Ruby. Ruby. Leon. Leon. Annabelle. She's the nice one. There are things over there. Yeah, I don't know. We can't get to them. <laughs> Looks like he just left a message. Hey, Milo. It's your good buddy, Barry. You know, your agent, guy, and it actually gets to work. How's it going? So he's your agent. Uh, that last uh, book you gave me, you know, garden, whatever. Yeah, I finally got to read it, and it sounds remarkably similar to that incident we had a couple weeks ago. No, that's not what it is. Still, don't do stuff like that to me, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you also never told me that you had a little girlfriend. I spoke to her as you were stuffing your drunk ass into the car last week. I, I, I turned it up. Her name was Veronica or something. You were out cold. Anyway, uh, come when you can, bud. Thanks. So she kidnapped us. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
the save, 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 save. She kidnapped us. So there's an open box. Do we want the box? I kind of want to check out everything else first. Without running into those things. Oh. Oh god. No. This is not what I wanted. That's what I'm saying. Do you want to... Well, no, I didn't think we were going to keep going. I thought stuff was going to happen. Okay, let's well, not. Door matches. Is there anywhere to light in here? No. I didn't see any. There seems to be a door over there. Ah! Apparently sipping on them doesn't actually hurt anything. Okay, that's not a door. It's just... Weird. So we can just walk through them. Apparently. I'm not going to know. It creepy. creeps me out. <laughs> A squeeze of a trigger, two shots, and soft thud onto concrete. Um, pew? Pew? She fell... She fell dead. She took a gamble. Thought he wouldn't pull the trigger, because he had loved her once. Okay. She was wrong. The lives of those children were more important. Alright. So we're gonna have to kill her. Yep. After all he had seen, he realized that he'd never be free again. He shuddered at the sign above the building. As he looked back, as men in black suits grabbed his shoulders. Um, Downton's home for the criminally insane. He was deluded into thinking he could escape. This place would be not only his prison, but his final resting place. His guilt would end soon. He'd be free from the pain of his sin. The judge did not approach him. The judge was all around him. Oh. It filled the room, blackening the windows with a terrible unlight. His breath was lost. On account that his organs melted beneath his flesh, <laughs> that began to boil. He didn't die. He became death. The judge was a thing compromised of man's guilt, and now he had assimilated it. <laughs> and now, his final form. And now we're back. <laughs> Jeez, what was I smoking when I wrote this? <laughs> So I want to go back up there and actually see if we can approach that other random room. So hold on. Save. You, you can't save on the side. side. Damn you. Damn you all. That might be like a secret end. Thing. Yeah, those four flowers though, like, they looked suspicious, but there's apparently nothing we can do about them. Back down. And we're gonna end here. Bye guys. Bye.